In the patient's fantasy, the expelled particles of ego lead to an independent and uncontrolled existence outside the personality, but either containing or contained by external objects, where they exercise their functions as if the ordeal to which they have been subjected has served only to increase their number and to provoke their hostility to the psyche that ejected them. In consequence, the patient feels himself to be surrounded by bizarre objects, whose nature I shall now describe. Worcester Bosch 24 CDI RSF Combi Boiler Plate Heat Exchanger Fault Over Pressure of Primary The new plate heat exchanger, note the only union nut on the left, the flange on the right is held with a spring clip, and the two smaller ones are mains clod water feed and domestic hot water out. Both are push-fit with O-rings. Each particle is felt to consist of a real external object which is encapsulated in a piece of personality that has engulfed it. The character of this complete particle will depend partly on the character of the real object, say a gramophone, and partly on the character of the particle of personality that engulfs it. You can see the overpressure on the dial. good view from underside of the boiler. The filing loop and the hole for the filling key. The pressure release valve with the red knob and one of the white drain caps. If the piece of the personality is concerned with sight, the gramophone when played is felt to be watching the patient. If with hearing, then the gramophone when played is felt to be listening to the patient. The object, angered at being engulfed, swells up, so to speak, and suffuses and controls the piece of personality that engulfs it. To that extent, the particle is felt to have become a thing. Front cover removed showing the pump, expansion tank in red and the gas valve on the right, which should be left alone. Since these particles are used by the patient as if they were prototypes of ideas, later to become words, this suffusion of the piece of personality by the contained but controlling object leads the patient to feel that words are the actual things they name, and so to the confusions described by Hannah Siegel that arise because the patient equates but does not symbolise. Draining the system. Front panel in service position, two screws on either side the plate heat exchanger used for heating the hot water. Can't see it, but the nut behind the heat exchanger needs to be loosened. There is no need to remove the filling loop if careful. The screw needs to be taken off and the spring clip removed. The patient now moves, not in a world of dreams, but in a world of objects which are ordinarily the furniture of dreams. These objects, primitive yet complex, partake of qualities which in the non-psychotic are peculiar to matter, anal objects, senses, ideas, superego, and the remaining qualities of personality. One result is that the patient strives to use real objects as ideas, and is baffled when they obey the laws of natural science and not those of mental functioning. The heat exchanger is off. One union nut. One spring clip holds secure, the primary circuit and the domestic hot water feed and exit are push feed only. The faulty plate heat exchanger showing the white 24 CDI water flow restrictor. The leak was internal. The mains water pressure was leaking into the sealed, so it should have been, primary, causing the pressure. Use new seals, lubricated with Vaseline. Associated with projective identification is the psychotic personality's inability to interject. If he wishes to take in an interpretation, or bring back these objects I've been describing, he does so by projective identification reversed, and by the same route. This situation was neatly summed up by the patient who said he used his intestine as a brain. When I said he had swallowed something, he replied, the intestine doesn't swallow. Don't forget the water restrictor. The new one is on. Don't over-tighten things. 
Thanks to this employment of projective identification, he cannot synthesize his objects. He can only agglomerate and compress them. Fill the system back up. Don't forget to prime the pump. Open all the isolation taps and correct inhibitor. Further, whether he feels he has had something put into him, or whether he feels he has interjected it, he feels the ingress as an assault, and a retaliation by the object for his violent intrusion into it. Might as well give it a clean, stable pressure and working fine. Like a new boiler now, total cost £118.